All right, so let's test it out. This is a new setting for my video. Uh, just now keep testing and uh, do trial and error. If you make the video quality too good, uh, it will lag, you know. <laughs> I just realized that just now happened. Uh, yeah. So I'm trying to find the perfect, uh, the sweet spot where the video doesn't lag too badly. Uh. Okay. So we have a member in our group. He was over allocated to Alibaba. He cannot sleep at night. He's the sole breadwinner. He's worried. He's stressed out. Okay, that in itself, to me at least, it is actually a valid reason for him to cut his exposure. Okay, and I think he is very reluctant to take the loss, you know. Okay, uh, from what I see, he is very reluctant to take the loss. He wants to sell calls at... Um, the break even price and I was like, okay, here we go again. Okay. So we look at this, I look at this guy and I feel that, you know, I think you are in the wrong direction. Uh. This is not uh, like a gambler fallacy where the gambler tries to win back his, his, the money that he lost and he's going to lose even more by doing that. Uh. Okay. This is what I see is happening. Okay. He's gonna lose his health if uh, the thing tanks, the the Salibaba tanks. He's gonna lose the whole money, right? So very negative, lah. Oh, that's what I see. So I would say that it takes certain courage to be able to rebalance out of your losses. To cut losses, it takes certain courage. Not everybody can do it, lah. Uh, you all know why. First things, the loss is just so painful. Okay, it's very stressful. It's painful. It degrades you. It makes you feel less of a human being. But the good news is that once you are used to cutting losses, keep cutting the losses, you're gonna be uh, become a better investor and a better trader. So in this case study. You are over allocated for sure. Especially if you don't have money, cash set aside for your family, 100% over allocated. If you don't have a house, you don't own a house yet, also over allocated 100% for sure. So, what do I suggest? Uh, I think you gotta define your investment goals, right? There are three, three purposes of an investment. Capital preservation. Number two is capital appreciation. Number three is income, right? So, I don't know. I am assuming I have accounts before I do all this stuff. And I do hope that in the future, you're going to have some sort of risk management. Okay. So I'm going to suggest a method, and by the way, this may sound like financial advice, but it is not financial advice. This is for entertainment only. Okay. If you find it hard taking the loss, huh, you should practice tax loss harvesting. Okay. That means. I don't know whether this, you go and consult with a CPA and ask them, hey, uh, am I able to cut to tax loss harvest on my income tax? No? Uh, you go and ask them, right? You lost, harvest the loss from Baba, and then are you able to uh, reduce your income tax payment? If you are, then there's a good rebate, what? right? Then you should do it. Don't, 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 don't waste your time. Okay? Is there such thing as tax loss harvesting? Go and consult with a CPA. Right. Okay. So other than the risk management that you have to set up for yourself. Okay. What is risk management? I already had a video on this. Uh, you go and take a look. Basically, risk management is... Uh, you put a max cap on your sectors. How, maximum per sector, how many percent? Maximum per country, how many percent? 
maximum per stock how many percent and maximum of uh, buy-ins per day how many percent right you want to DCA let's say stuff like that is you have to make the rules down you write it down and you follow it it's your own rules I cannot cannot follow okay so this is risk management some people may scoff and they say ah yeah you are that also uh, uh, that means you are you are you are being ruled by that uh. that is your risk management that is how you rule this, this thing why do you need risk management because you are the sole breadwinner if the thing goes bump then you are bump right you you die dude okay it's not you suffer it's your kids suffer your wife suffer with you okay my wife is going to kick my ass <laughs> you know for sure right i don't know about yours but my wife's going to kick my ass uh, for sure so let's say for example you're going to rebalance right i would suggest because you are the sole breadwinner and you're the only guy that works 30 percent of your portfolio if you don't already have a cash money 30 percent of that portfolio has to be in cash okay or safety lah, basically capital preservation so gld is a gold etf and slv is a silver etf or you can buy the physical gold or silver and then uh, cash or treasuries so 30 percent uh, should be in this okay at least uh, i would say especially if you don't have uh, that money um you know lah. okay you don't have a rainy day money now this is optional the other 30 percent uh, can be in bonds and preferred rates uh, right this is optional basically this is the income path okay now let's say you don't want this one you can apportion 70 percent to stocks later or you can go 50 percent in uh, safety right gold silver cash and 50 percent in stocks okay again this is assuming you don't have a house lah. please if you don't have a house i mean you already have a house if you don't have a house go and buy a house okay for me i i i, I buy houses lah for I, I i rather go spend my money to buy a house first okay so now um these four let's say okay i want to uh, make money lah I want to make my money back and all that. You actually can, uh, don't worry. Okay, let me tell you. You actually can make your money back, but you gotta be patient, lah. Uh. You don't don't go into the thing, wah, like a gambler like that. I must recoup my losses, and I'm going to take all the risks I can. Uh, don't do that, also, please. Okay, you have a family, lah, uh, and you know you need to take care of your family right that's the most important don't don't go in and like go play at like gambler like that god of gambler you go all in into one stock oh i'm gonna win you know stuff like that don't, don't have to do that so my advice to you is to uh, dollar cost average into four sectors one is the american uh tech sector qqq or n xlk if possible uh maybe 10 percent on this right to maybe the weighting is up to you you want to 50 50 or up to you usa general rsp and iwm maybe 50 50 or just rsp also can okay if you don't like small caps i say i just want rsp okay no problem china tech i i, I don't think you need this lah because you already have so much in uh baba but if you want to diversify out of uh baba you can buy three stocks or four stocks to make yourself more diversified for baba right what what can i buy well uh let's say okay i want to diversify out of my baba into uh, chinese holdings so all you need to do is buy the 10 cents right there is a tcehy counter okay you can buy PDD if you want. Some people don't like PDD. Okay, buy PDD. Net is uh, I don't like net is. Uh. I rather buy ten cents. Uh. Okay. Uh, Meituan, right? Meituan. I think Meituan has been winning lah. So I don't know. Some people may not. Ah, Meituan too expensive really. I don't know. Uh. this is up to you. 
and then you can buy trade.com if you want a little bit of Baidu right I don't know about the rest huh? I don't know about the rest so those are the ones that I know only okay so you want to take out some of the Baba buy Tencent buy PDD buy NetEase buy Meituan you can buy Ping An also if you want right Ping An is some tech inside right P N G A Y Ping Gay right Ping Gay I buy Ping Gay okay uh, Tencent is T C E H Y okay just type the thing in it we're gonna give it, give it for you don't be lazy lah okay don't be lazy type it in don't worry you can get it for example oh I want to buy Meituan oh just type in Meituan right oh there you got the M P N G Y buy the M P N G Y it's the same thing what right Meituan has been the clear winner why the, the 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 thing may be forty percent up ever since the bottom. Meituan is a clear winner really. Out of all the tech stocks, Meituan is a clear winner. I I don't know, I own the ETF, so yeah, I can not all I, I got all JD is the clear loser. JD is loser man. Ah, the loser one is a JD, uh, bloody hell. Okay. Some into JD la huh? some to JD. Right. Got JD.com. Yeah. Some into JD some into yeah do do whatever you want uh. i mean it's, it's all down there it's very easy okay for china tech because some of you don't want to pay the 0 0.65 percent uh management fee right okay no problem don't pay like you just buy law by yourself i mean the usa stocks commission is so cheap man no need to hate it uh. just whack man the stock one by one don't be uh pussy uh. go and buy don't be scared man okay because it's only 35 cents for me la. when when for canadians and americans is free right you can just make your own etf man if it's free energy xle you know just buy uh exxon and buy uh chevron those two i think uh the other one you want to buy conoco philips also can you can add in a bit of Suncor, you can add in a bit of CNQ, add in a bit of VET, right? Or if you are too lazy, just buy XLE. XLE, the management fee is very low, so it's okay. Okay, but essentially what you are buying those three is ConocoPhillips, Exxon, and Chevron. Those three is, are going to be the biggest if you buy XLE. Okay. For this one, I think it's worth you worth it lah, uh, for you to buy the counters individually. So is, you are going to dollar cost average into this lah. Right. Slowly sell out from the Baba, take the loss and then put it in. Slowly sell out the Baba, take the loss and put it in. Slowly take out the block from the Baba and put it in. Okay. Then later you can sleep at night better. Right. You, you 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 cannot deny lah if you cannot sleep and you cannot deny that oh I'm not able to take the gyrations ah. well, I, you must man up low and face it low oh I, I cannot I cannot take the gyrations ah. some people can take it you know some people cannot take it honestly ah, I won't be able to take uh, 75 percent to Baba the the waiting ah. even I myself I don't I'm not able to if you ask me are you able to do that oh, definitely not man 100 percent i cannot do it okay now this video i hope won't be laggy the previous one was laggy and it's a bit bigger than usual and i thank you for the feedback you know that you all have been giving me i really appreciate really really appreciate all the feedbacks and Every time you all watch my video, I feel uh, thankful. Okay, thank you very much.